Welcome to Scooter Hints and Tips with Jeremy from Scooter Magazine and ScooterSales.com.au. Today I'd like to talk about suspension. Now that's the thing at the front and the back of the scooter that keeps your tyres in contact with the ground. It also helps make the ride a little bit more comfortable for you. Now, front suspension, usually a front fork setup, so two arms either side of the wheel with a spring and oil inside to control the wheel and damping. Not much you can do about that apart from having a workshop change the rate of the springs and the rate of oil. Not a home mechanics job. The rear suspension on the other hand is generally a spring outside a shock absorber. Now, one of the things you can do is to change the preload on the spring. You'll often see a collar down the bottom with steps in it from very soft at the bottom to quite stiff at, at the top. Now, there are often five steps, maybe seven steps. The thing to remember about this is that it does not change the rate of the spring. Nothing changes the rate of the spring except changing the spring itself for a heavier or a lighter one. What adjusting the suspension does is it changes the attitude of the scooter. It lifts the back end up, which makes it steer more sharply, or drops the back end down, which makes it steer more slowly. It's one of those things that there's a lot of misinformation about in the marketplace. So, why should you change your suspension? It will change the way the scooter handles, it will change the way the scooter brakes, it will change the way the scooter feels. So lifting the rear end of the scooter up, as I say, will make the front end feel a bit sharper when you're steering. It also changes the stroke of the suspension. So in technical terms it's a little bit hard to describe, but what that means is that the back end of the scooter will feel slightly stiffer. That's where the misinformation about stiffening the spring comes from. What it means in practical terms is that you'll have slightly more travel for the rear wheel over bumps. So it will make it more comfortable, certainly if you're riding with a pillion passenger. So one of the things to do is to find a suspension setting somewhere in the middle that suits you as a solo rider and then ramp it up a notch or two if you're taking a pillion or luggage when you're touring. Apart from that, ride safe and have fun.